as the people of Edo State are preparing for Edo State election, so also political parties are also preparing to bribe INEC officials. We all know that, you know, <laughs> this is Nigeria. INEC officials collect bribe. Breaking news. <laughs> INEC officials actually collect bribe in Nigeria. It's so sad that, you know, this is what our, our voting system has turned into. But, you know, these political parties, they know that they need to drop something for these INEC officials so that the INEC officials can be able to do their bidding as they are planning to bribe INEC officials. So also they are bribing to vote to, to pardon me, to bribe the electorate as well, the people that are going to vote. <laughs> Probably the votes, the winner will go to the person that can bribe the most. The person that can bribe the most is the person that usually wins an election in Nigeria. That's just the way it goes. Before we go into the details, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section as well. It's also very important to like this video so that YouTube can get it recommended to other viewers all around the world as well. As much as the much anticipated Edo State governorship election slated for September 21st, 2024 approaches, alarming allegations have surfaced concerning the involvement of officials of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in a bribery scandal aimed at rigging the election in favor of certain political interests. According to inside sources, over 500 million naira has been set aside to influence the outcome of the election with specific instructions given to INEC returning officers and other ad hoc officials to tamper with the process. A whistleblower within the Electoral Commission revealed that the bribe money had been earmarked to bribe officials to compromise their duties specifically by omitting critical materials such as the official result sheets when adding to their polling units on election day. Hmm. The plan reportedly involves a deliberate omission of these sheets, creating a situation where results can be falsified or altered since the officials return to the, pardon me, can be falsified or altered once the officials return to INEC offices. So <laughs> it means that the INEC officials are, is not going to fill the results into the result sheets right there at the polling unit, which is, which is supposed to be the case. So they will tell people that, oh, we forgot the sheet. And by the time they get to INEC office, they will now write whatever they wish on the result sheet. The source who chose to remain anonymous due to fear of reprisal disclosed there is a carefully laid out plan to undermine the integrity of the election. Some officials have already been contacted and 500 million naira has been allocated to facilitate this. We were told to purposely forget the result sheet for our assigned polling units on election day. The instruction is clear. We are to leave the result sheets behind, then later return to the office to fill them in with results that have been prearranged. The returning officers will hold critical roles in overseeing the final tally of votes have allegedly been placed at the center of a grand scheme to rewrite election results. The whistleblower added that external political forces are deeply involved working in tandem with compromised INEC officials with compromised INEC officials to ensure the scheme is executed smoothly. Certain politicians from the APC have colluded with senior INEC officials to push this through. The money is being funneled through intermediaries and the returning officers are expected to comply with the demands. 
Anyone who refuses is threatened with losing their position or facing severe consequences, the source said. This new information adds to the growing concerns about the impartiality of INEC as rumors of electoral fraud have been circulating in the state for weeks. The Edo State governorship election is said to be one of the most contested in recent years, with the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party as major contenders alongside the Labour Party. The Young Edo Professionals, a local advocacy group, has also called for an urgent probe by Department of State Services into the matter. Speaking on behalf of a group, their leader, Oje Ejehi, said, This is not just about one party rigging an election. It is a direct attack on the de democratic fiber of our society. The DSS must intervene and investigate these allegations immediately. If left unchecked, this could lead to civil, civil unrest and erode the trust the public has in electoral institutions as if the, the trust have not been broken before. International observers, including representatives from the United Nations and European Union, who are said to monitor the Edo governorship election, have also been notified about the alleged scheme. Some observers have already expressed concern over the level of interference in the electoral process. Speaking on the condition of anonymity, a foreign observer commented, we have been keeping an eye on developments in the two states, and these allegations are very troubling. If true, they threaten the credibility of election. We will be following this closely and reporting any irregularities we observe during the election. Despite the gravity of the accusations, INEC has so far remained silent. Attempts to reach the Edo State INEC office to comment have been unsuccessful. However, many are now calling on INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu to make a public statement to confirm or refute the claims and assure Nigerians that the election will be conducted without bias. <laughs> he already knows. Why will he come out to debunk it? He already knows that, you know, these things happen. He already knows that in a country like this, there is no way. There is no, even Mahmoud cannot do anything about it. It just, it just happens. Both parties, to be realistic, I'm telling you what is attainable in Nigeria during elections. In fact, both parties, both PDP, APC, every other, every party wants to bribe INEC. Every party usually bribe INEC during the election. It is now left to the person that has the highest money to spare for bribe. The person with the highest money to, to spare for bribe is the person that will be favored the most. I'm just telling you the realistic thing here. So it's not like it's one party. Yes, we know APC are trying to get back Edo State by fire, by force. They want to make sure that, you know, APC wins this time around and they don't lose to PDP. They will be, since they are at the center, they want to use center power to also conquer Edo State. But personally, I wish that people would, you know, remove themselves from both APC and PDP and look towards another angle, at least give another political party a chance. That is Labour Party with Akpata. The man is very educated. At least give a professional a chance. Let's see what he's going to do differently this time around. You all, thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.